be on. You hear me? See me? Yeah. Levels look good. Everything looks good. I think we're going. I'm looking over here in my other monitor. I see myself looking back at myself here. Yeah, I get confused once in a while. Hey, by the way, are you a procrastinator? Oh boy, you're looking. You're looking at the king of procrastination. So that's what this video today is about. Well, actually, it's evening time for me. So that's what this video is about this evening. So, by the way, my name's Lamar Scholl. I'm from Direction to Success. We'll get this thing going. Enough with the procrastinating. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below. Also, if you get some value, hit that like button for me. You got a comment, question, just a thought? Drop that down below in this video. Look, I got a, I got a little echo going on here. I got to turn my speakers off. There we go. Mute the old speakers. See, I'm always ready. All right, let's get into this. <clears throat> I don't know about you, but I am definitely one of the world's worst procrastinators, especially when it comes to tasks like, you know, things that you could put off, <clears throat> like, you know, say cleaning. We'll keep it simple. I look at cleaning. I say, well, kind of tired. I can just always do it tomorrow. When it comes to tasks like that, I'm bad because I just linger and I end up thinking about them you know, more than if I just got it done, it would have been taken less time. I'm good at things when I have to be somewhere at a certain time to get something done. That's fine. I have no problem with that. And I heard of this little, I don't know, thing. Somebody's calling it power hours, reading power hour. You set one hour a week aside. And basically what it is, is that's the time you're going to set aside to do these type of tasks and I was reading the article and believe it or not it was kind of interesting because I could definitely relate so the the uh, premise behind this is you know all these tasks that you have building up that you need to get done right this is when you decide to do them during this power hour now this is a scheduled time this isn't something you just like today you're going to decide to do it because you know what's going to happen we both know you're not going to do it. Hey, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. The reason why, I know. I know exactly where you're coming from. I get it. So what you need to do, just like you schedule doctor's appointments or anything like that, you know, maybe dates, going out with your significant other, you want to put this on your schedule. That's right. Tuesday at 3 o'clock or whatever day you decide, right? Put it on your calendar. Schedule it in. Now, here's the idea. Here's where you want to kind of make a game out of this too. You want to see how much you can get done in this hour. Set a timer. That's right. Start a timer. Hit that timer and go. But before you even get up to that point, write everything down in a list. Make sure you clearly know what you're going to do. You know, don't just think you're going to think of it because you're not. Yeah, I, I tried. Your mind, it's just going to... It's going to be a blank. It's going to be like, boop. It's going to be flatline. Nothing's going to happen for five, possibly 10 minutes. And that's already a good part, good part of the hour gone by, right? Just, just make, you know, like five minutes before you start your power hour, write them down. That could even be part of that hour. I'll give you that, right? So hit that timer, make a list, and make a game out of it. See how many things you can get done. I feel better when I get that done. Now I'm totally focused, right? I'm not looking at my phone, my com no computer, no nothing. I go like the blazes for that one hour. Like, I don't know if anybody can multitask, but look, I got clothes going. I've got maybe, you know, in the wash, I might have the dishwasher going. I got several appliances going and I feel great, right? And that's the idea. And it's only one hour and you can really get a lot accomplished. Now, here's the other thing. Because, you know, you got to have some kind of reward at the end, right? Because you're, you're busting, you know, your butt here for an hour. So what I do, I give myself a little treat at the end. I go, if I legitimately do this for one hour, right? And highly concentrated focus on getting these chores done. I'll treat myself to, you know, maybe a show on Netflix or, you know, or some video on YouTube or something like that. But 
you whatever you want but you know this you gotta have that prize at the end too right a little motivation that's one thing that's helped me i've done another video where i've time put myself on a timer as i'm working all day long i've talked about that before but this is a little bit different once a week power hour just thought i might do a little video on this it was kind of cool i just got done reading the little blog article on this so hey once again my name's lamar Scholl. i hope you enjoyed this video you know what i'm done that means i'll see you on the next one